104.1 KRBE. Let's get started. It's the Rula and Ryan Show. Wake up, fool! Hey, wake up! It's about to get all stupid up in here! Right here! Featuring <laughs> Eric. Eric? He is a bad, bad man! Special K. The big red K. Are you threatening me? I'm waiting for you. And Sam. <gasps> You've waited long enough. How the heck do you pronounce this woman's name? Rula. <laughs> and Ding Dong. Ryan. 104.1 KRBE. Good morning, oh, and Welcome hi. to the Rula and Ryan Fun. Show. Morning. You've got uh, Eric. Good morning. Special K. What up? Kind of shoe. And Sam. <laughs> Hi, good and morning. me. Hey, well, you Sam. The, you had the mic way down low. So yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm getting shorter. <laughs> He's getting shorter. And Sam's uh, back. Yeah, welcome Hi. back. Rolla's out this morning, but Sam is back. Yes, we got a trade-off. Yeah, it's like tag team. Kidding. All right, you're yeah. in. Go. Mm-hmm. Welcome back from vacay. Now go. Monday, was, Mondays was. are the best, aren't they, Sam? Especially when you come back from vacation. Mm-hmm. I Oh, my gosh. So um, I went to Outer Banks, which is in North Carolina. It's very popular for... Or, um, Still haven't seen that show. Family in, or not family, but people in Pennsylvania, like on the East Coast, to drive down to OBX. It took my parents maybe eight, nine hours to drive. That's not bad, though, if you're doing like the whole family drive, loading up the, you know, the RV. I mean, I think they would argue that it's still far. It's, That's a long it's, drive. Still. It's not enjoyable. But mm-hmm. I flew into uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk. Norfolk. You got to be careful with that pronunciation. That, I, I was there. I just That's what we were saying. Virginia. And um, my dad came and picked this up really, really, really late on Friday because they have the most random flights into Virginia from Houston. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it's either super late. So we got to our hotel at um, 11.30 p.m. on Friday. And then our flight to Houston was at 6.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. I wouldn't even get a hotel. I'd just go straight to the airport. It was well. We did that. Um, the airports are so small, probably. Y'all drove yeah. in the middle of the night to get we to the airport. We drove at two a.m. to get to the airport. It was oh. a hot mess. What about that? That, that whole global. Uh, Thank God that did not affect me. Okay, I was going to say all the power outages. So the airports it was the were IT, closed down. The Is IT that what outages. was happening? Well, yeah, there was a security. I was to Google firm. that, and I didn't understand. The I thought one, it was Microsoft that glitched yeah, or something. But they, they, they screwed up everything. Because but Southwest was okay because they use Microsoft from thirty-two years ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, sometimes yeah, that updating is really. I didn't take too. Southwest. I took United, but I was yeah, they got hit. so happy that they did not mess with our flight because I we came back a day early just because it was like. I wonder if it happened more because a lot of California people I know are from leaving from California to yeah. Texas mm-hmm. are bumped to like Tuesday. Oh wow! Like even like Craig Gas, our comedian friend, he's supposed yeah. to be here today, but he's bumped till tonight. He called, uh, text me Saturdays, like, dude, they they took my flight away. I can't get in until Monday night. So. Oh, and, and I know if you will have people. them in tomorrow, right? Yeah, I told them just come after uh, try Tuesday, y'all. Craig Gas is so amazing. This is the guy. He's got a thousand voices. He's one of the best. Impre- uh, what do you say, impressionists? Yeah, he does impersonations. Basically, he grew up with uh, mom and dad and a sister that were all deaf. Mm-hmm. He was the only one that wasn't deaf. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. So he created characters in his head, watched cartoons, yeah, and needed someone to talk to. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's how he got his skill. And then he uh, he that's lived cool. with Eddie Van Halen for a year. Yeah. Do you remember that when Eddie Van Halen from Van Halen passed away, Craig came on the show and he was telling us a little bit about Eddie and what he was like and what it was like to live with him. His stories are amazing. The last time I saw him was in December. I flew up to New York to go see the very last Kiss concert of all time. He does a Gene Simmons impersonation a lot. He does, and he was hosting their pay-per-view of that special, and he invited me to go backstage afterwards. We were just so tired afterwards, like, meh. The only negative thing I could say about him is he's a Seattle Mariners fan. Uh. But, hey, we've got two out of three, so that's good. He's a great guy. And I will, I, I'm going to show respect to the fans in Seattle. Uh, Jordan hit a, went for the cycle. Mm-hmm. Means, Explain what that is. Okay, so Alvarez gotta, hit a cycle Sunday, even though they lost to the Mariners. Home run, triple, double, single. Triple's the hardest in baseball to get. So it, the so ball didn't did hit a cyclist like nope, yeah. pedaling by? In, the back. in Seattle, it could happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the lady in the outfield, she caught the, his home run ball and said, I would like to give this to him. I don't want anything. I just want to, you know, I figured oh, wow. you know, for the cycle. Even when he got the cycle, when he hit that last double, yeah. although the... Not all of them, but like 40% stood up and applauded them. You know, usually you don't do that in another stadium. So, and then that person met Jordan last night. He gave him, he gave her an autographed ball. She's like, I don't even want anything. I just want you to have it Aww. because you did this. 
That's really that's awesome. So. That you there's have some, like some, some people, good people out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm, that they're giving and they're loving. I'll tell you what, a little bit later on, uh, Eric and I, we didn't see Twisters together, but we saw it around the same time. That's pretty funny. So we'll have to talk about that. Yeah, I know. You text me in a the same way. And we, saw it, we saw it in that 4DX. And Where you get in the right. chair and it moves around right. and rain right. is hitting you. Right. Did this before, but you undersold it. You didn't like really sell it. I told it. you. It's not like it's what an it experience. Really, yeah, I want to do a bit with that. I'll tell Kevin. Off the air, what well, I think right. we could do with that. Oh, cool. God. But overall, your vacation? Vacation. Uh, one to ten, what would you give it? Yeah, it was super nice. It was really nice. Because that's family, time you know. I, with family. I love my family, but I can't do a whole week. It I was... don't think she could. I think she had to come back a day early. Well. Oh, really? Because she did. She came back oh, a day did? early. Uh, the way that it would have been, What had happened once. was oh, we <laughs> had our, our house until Saturday at 11 a.m. was checkout. But everybody mm-hmm. was leaving really early because they have such a long flight. So instead of us having to get a hotel for Saturday night Mm. and then leave at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning, because it's the only time we decided, well, why not just leave Saturday at 6 a.m. instead of spending our whole day in Virginia. That's true. For no... Might as well get home so you miss the... It's nice to have a day. Yes. You don't want to just get here and then... We absolutely need that because we need to go grocery store shopping. We need to do laundry. We need to do all of that stuff. So Welcome back to the rain all week. Yeah, we're oh, going to be getting rain more rain. rain. Yes, we're getting more rain. We're going to get rain today. It's just yeah. rain, rain, rain. I'm so mad but, I didn't fill up my tank. And why? You think people are going to panic at the pump again? Yeah, just get crowded, get wet. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. No, people Wear people were at the boots. pump yeah. uh, last week when or, or two weeks ago. God, can you believe it? Two weeks ago today was barrel hitting. Yeah. And right. that afternoon, after it had made its way through, the gas station lines were unbelievable. Oh, yeah, they People were. People wanted to fill up their generators. And mm-hmm. I was like a fool running on fumes, and I'm like, oh, my God, where, where can I get some gas? I'm not going to make it into work. And also, I need to apologize to someone on the show. Uh-huh. I need to apologize to Ryan. Uh-oh. Something you said. Many, you said this many years ago, many times. Mm-hmm. You probably said it last month. Mm-hmm. About and I always try to defend this great city of ours, Houston. Mm-hmm. But you always say, Houston, you guys are some terrible drivers. Oh yeah. And I start, you know, my, my daughter's going to be sixteen next month. That's crazy. She was born when we were here. I remember doing call-ins and stuff with mm-hmm. everybody. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I'm taking her driving. And yesterday we were out, like going on Bel Air, just driving around, and just I just look when you're in that mode to teach. Yeah, you realize how stupid people really are driving. It really is defensive. No wonder driving. we have so many, uh, you know, endorsements with like Push and Win, and Kevin's got Ramsey mm-hmm. because there's a lot of accidents out there. Just idiots, people not stopping, blinkers, paying attention. It's just, mm-hmm. it's like, man, we could do better. Houston, I'm like scared to death now. I was sending my girl out, my daughter out, and it's scary. This, mm-hmm. this city, I, people don't. Pay I attention. saw some wild stuff yesterday. This guy was in a Mercedes, and he had swangers on it. And uh, you know what swangers oh, are? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They, they Those are, always creep me out because I'm always like, well, explain to everybody what they are in case people uh, don't realize. Here in H Town, swangers are very popular. They are a wire rim that sticks out from the car mm-hmm. like a. But they're legal somehow. Yes. They like about, the, what, 10 inches out? Like a Roman chariot. Mm-hmm. And it looks like <laughs> it can eat up the chariot next to you. Yep. If they get too it close does. to you, it might go and eat up your tire. So the, there's two of these guys, and they're crisscrossing against uh, through four lanes of traffic on 610. Mm. I'm like, God, is there a cop around? Can a cop see this? What's going down That's what here? you need the cops. Yeah. But no, no, no. They're they're dinging me for going through a yellow light. Mm. You, know, you can tell those people. I always tell my daughter, too. I'm like, just look. Like that guy over there, he put his blinker on for a second. Shot over there. I'm like, just watch him. Keep an eye on him because mm-hmm. he's, he's doing some shady yeah. stuff. Right over by Spanky's. It doesn't matter how good doesn't you are. Was, right there with, uh, when you go under 59. You That's where be, Bel Air gets questionable. Yeah. You can be the greatest driver in the world, but you've got to be constantly anticipating other people to do something foolish. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the thing. And it freaked me out. I remember, oh, God, you're in the trenches now. I remember teaching my daughter how to drive, how it's, stressful it was. But, I mean, it's not too bad being with her. I just get nervous thinking. When they're out like alone. Like when you're not with her. Yeah. Or yeah. with her friend. I keep telling her, your friends are going to try and go, hey, look at this. You know, hey, oh, this video. And you're going to try and look for a second. Don't. Just tell but them. there are rules where they're not allowed to be driving with a bunch of friends. Yeah. They can't be doing that. I got that magnet on the back of her car. Student, driver, student driver, please be patient. Yeah, mm-hmm. that does help because when I see people doing bad, dumb stuff and I see that sign, I go, "Okay, oh, okay. Uh, I'll yeah. relax a little we'll bit." Give them are a you going to track her? You going to put like a little air tag on the car, or are you going to? Oh, get the uh, no. The I get the live three sixty. Uh huh. On, on the phone, but that they can tell you the speed. This car does have that. Mm-hmm. I bought one with all the safety stuff. Good, nice. but still, it's human. It's not like a Tesla where it drives it 
itself. Right. Now, is she is she okay with you teaching, or is she over it and needs mom now? No, no, she she gets scared though with me. I heard I overheard her tell mom, "I'm scared of dad." I'm like, "What? Well, I don't see. Yeah. I hold my. I don't. Well, yesterday once. <laughs> Yeah. So everybody toasted yoke over there. There's a wreck. Yeah. So everyone was trying to shoot over, and we're in the middle. I'm like, you got to get over. And she did without looking left. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we went to Meyerland and started practicing, like, parking, parking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, in between cars and stuff, because I, I got her a driving school. I paid for that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, at first, I'm like, I can't do this. I'm going to have a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nerve-wracking, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll let someone else, a professional, get paid to do that. Crap. My dad tried to teach me, and him and I just fought. And then my mom taught me, and it was a stick shift. So Oof. my mom taught me how to ride the clutch. Oh man! Like, oh Kevin, you don't need to. Oh, stick. you learned on a stick. Yeah, that's the best cool. way to do it. And, yeah, oh, yeah, because yeah. you gotta you gotta really pay attention. Then, it, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the opposite. He goes, son, you, because I wanted this one car, and it had the uh, was man, uh, automatic, and it was mm-hmm. on the on the bottom. So in between, there was no, like back then, the, the used cars had seats. Mm-hmm. Like the girl could get close to you. Yeah. Put your arm around. <laughs> He's like, you want you want it up here by the by the driving, by the steering wheel. Mm-hmm. That way you can get your lady right next to you. Yeah. I'm like, hey, dude, hey, look, 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 oh they, they called it bench seats. Yeah, it was like a bench. Like you turn left and the whole, mm-hmm. everybody would like slide. Slide, <laughs> they slide with you. But, but you could also like, you know, if you're going somewhere, you could put your buddy in the middle. Yeah, you could get you three could get people in the front. Three people in the front seat. That's nice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and you, but you'd have to straddle whatever stick was there, whether it be automatic that's what, or. That's why I got rid of that. That's mm-hmm. what my dad said. You don't want that. You want room so she can get closer to you. I'm like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, actually. my Good God. advice. I ain't trying to, like, hold on to someone when I'm driving. <laughs> I know. My dad, that's the worst advice ever. <laughs> All right, coming up next in Celebrity Scoop, what do we have lined up? Uh, did you know that Ryan Reynolds had a firstly charm Madonna for Deadpool and Wolverine? And Ooh. she gave a spot on tip for the film. If you want to stick around for a Celebrity Scoop, I like Ryan Reynolds. I came up for that this week. Let's oh, yeah, this see is going to be the big what release. Madonna did. I know. I'm excited, Madonna. too. All Madonna. right, so it is going to be rain today. Yep, get more rain, lots of rain throughout the day. High near 90 right now, 78 degrees and 612 on the Rule and Ryan Show. I am proud to introduce Rule and Ryan's Celebrity Scoop. K-R-B-E. Brought to you by Taqueria Rundis. Uh, Rule will be back tomorrow, but uh, the guys and Sam here were filling the in guys. for Scoop. <laughs> The I'm guys. just a bro. It's cool. She's yeah, a bro. you're one it's of the guys. Fine. Just one of the guys. You can kick a soccer ball way better than any of us. Oh, yeah. My yeah. little brother on Peach, Beach Vacay uh, is mm. training for soccer again because he's going back for another semester. Don't want to talk about it. Anyways, <laughs> he kept asking me. He's like, sis, he's like, come run on the beach with me. I was like, bro, I don't do cardio, okay? I pick things up and put them down. And then he was like working out like shirtless. And I was like, I used to be fit, Connor, okay? And then I had a kid. So <laughs> Sam, I was like that. You are fit. You look great. Oh, thanks, you- Kevin. You bounce back, as they yeah. say, quicker than anyone oh. I've ever seen. Look at how thin and gorgeous Sam, you are. It. Sam, if oh you want to feel gosh, good about yourself, Kev. I was at Memorial Park yesterday trying to get my laps in. Yeah, how'd that go? And, in the oh, heat. God, it it's was awful. brutal. The three miles. But if you want to feel good about yourself. Should do, I go there? Do that trail. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm in pretty good shape. Hey, yeah, but we did the everyone stairs trying to get healthy, though. That's what I'm saying. Two weeks ago. You can yeah. never fault oh. somebody for being out there trying to no, get themselves healthy. Uh, sorry, I went off on a tangent on that. Oh, but cool. you said bros, and then I was thinking about yeah. my little brother, and I was like, you little brat. You Why are, don't you... Uh, he's going for the five years, huh? He's He is. I plan? feel like he's... What's that movie... Um, with isn't it um, Ryan Reynolds where he doesn't ever oh, leave yeah, school? Oh yeah, Van Wilder. Yes, I feel like that's oh, Connor. Okay. Yep. And speaking of <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, uh, he met with Madonna hey. to hopefully. I know how sweet. To, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm Kevin's all over happy. the place. Yeah. Kevin watch this why? Now. But why? I don't understand why, why these people came together. Her? Well, he wanted to get permission to use her song like a prayer in Deadpool and Wolverine. And here is him and the producer, the f- film director. I'm sorry, talking. His name's Sean Levy about asking Madonna for her permission. We showed Madonna the sequence where Like a Prayer would be used, and... It's also, let's preface it with, Madonna doesn't just license the song. That song has not been licensed, so it was a big deal to ask for it, and certainly a bigger deal to use it. So yeah, we we went over and met with her and showed her how it was being used, and... She had only one note, and and it was a great note, and it made the sequence better. Yeah. 
You're right. What was the note? What was the note? Exactly. Somebody don't tell us. You gotta watch the movie. That producer, I've seen him making the rounds. That Sean Levy director. Mm-hmm. Director. director. Yeah, sorry, films he director. He looks like he could be related to Eugene Levy and Dan Levy. No, he doesn't. No, I, I, I swear. I you said like, that like I, on Friday. I, I don't think he so. looks he like, like Dex Shepard. Family he looks resemblance. More like Dex Shepard, definitely. Definitely. He doesn't look like. Does. Doesn't look like Eugene Levy at all. Oh my gosh, she totally looks like Dex Shepard. See? Whoa. I don't know where Ryan's smoking on that one, guys. I think he did. I think just his last name is what's making you because yeah. he doesn't have yeah. the big old bushy eyebrows. That, like, yes, uh, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. That's how you know what Dan and Eugene both right. have those big eyebrows. Whoa, he totally looks like the trailer Kurt. is. Cool I've never with, seen him before with, either. Uh, like a prayer. Mm-hmm. I stopped watching the trailers because I want to be surprised when I go. I well, that's why. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from anything. I, we have a uh, our friend Dave Morales mm-hmm. used to be on KRBE, but now he he does stuff on Fox. He's got his own show on on Fox also about mm-hmm. movies backstage. And he's all over the country now. It's yeah, awesome. backstage so, OL. I'm so proud of him. He's going to come in because uh, he interviewed um, Wolverine. Uh, what's the name? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, yeah. yeah. Ryan Reynolds, he interviewed him all yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I believe saw the movie. Oh, sweet. So he's going to come in Wednesday around 8.20. You know it's going to be good. Can tell us about it? Yeah. Okay. But he, he, sees, he meets all the celebrities every weekend. He's going somewhere. He's only in town for like two days a week. And he's flying to New York, London. L.A. just to interview these people. Wow. Nice. I don't know if I would like that. I feel like that would be a lot yeah. of traveling. Y'all, he travels so like far the all the time. Yeah. It is crazy. He's always going to the U.K. to do yeah. something over there. But really? He doesn't have kids, so I think no. life could be a lot easier. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But you got a family with kids. That's yeah, kind of hard to do. Mm-hmm. And got that now, baby. Now, a movie that did come out, it was number one this weekend, was Twisters. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ryan and I both saw it. Did y'all like it? Yeah. I what, told, what are your I told Eric, you've got to see this in 4D. Cause I 4DX. Saw, yeah. Okay. I saw Bad Boys, uh, the last one, in 4DX. And I was like, this is so cool. The chair moves around. Bullets are whizzing by I your head. I understand what you meant. And then. You did it? Oh. During the trailer for Wolverine and Dead, Deadpool Wolverine. The trailer was it in was 4. It was moving. I was like, what? It made popcorn. It was flying everywhere. I, I lost 90% of my food. No. <laughs> yeah. And You're I was like, moving around. I, I was feeling sick for a second. I'm like, we got to do this for two hours. I can't imagine that you would agree to this. What made you agree I don't, to I just this? thought it'd be fun. You went with the, your two daughters and, and your wife. Yeah. I thought, let's do it Friday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like two o'clock show. I'm like, let's let's do it. And then we're all like, what the hell are we into? It even has a button to shut off the water because it'll shoot water in your face. <gasps> like when the storm hits. Oh, my lightning gosh. Lightning fog comes up. I mean, Strobe lights. Like when lightning is hitting, it I think looks like the, it's inside the theater. This might be the only movie I think would be worth 40 And minutes. how long is this movie for? It's like how many like hours? forever, but it was like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Hour I mean, I thought okay. the movie so was... A shorter I got movie. it at two. I think it ended up 431. Mm-hmm. And remember, you had oh, 25 minutes man. of preview. That's what I'm saying. So, but the movie's... Crap. Okay, the movie. Oh, but, oh, is no. it? <laughs> oh, look, guys. I love the tornadoes. I had the best time. I was just laughing. My it's kids. Fun. My kids said, Dad, I haven't heard you laugh like that in years. Because it's so bad. It's And it's, I watched all these people in front of me, like this big dude. Like, he was like, whoa. Was, like, I, was, ah, I was peeing myself. You're going to see it. It's so stupid. We look. We all look so dumb in these yeah. chairs shaking. If you go to at producer Eric on Instagram, I did a video of me and the kids, and it's a low video, so by... He's like my double chin going, yeah. and I'm not. You're not working. The I'm angles. not shaking the camera like <laughs> no. Like I'm, that's how it, weird, it was weird. happening like that. You are fully immersed oh, in the man. experience. I would say it's awesome. If you're going to see that movie, see it in the 4DX. That's the only way to see it. I want to do a competition with all the guys and girls. We can all wear like those painter outfits. Those you know those like yeah the white paper, oh, the white outfits, paper but yeah. the paper uh-huh. ones. Yes, we all go in there. We have to eat. Eat messy foods and, and soup. See who oh, comes out the cleanest. Yeah. Special K is losing. Yeah. 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 No matter what. Yeah. As soon you as have he walks yogurt in. around your mouth every morning. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say, if you're going yogurt to go see boy. Twisters thinking this is a sequel to the first one, it has no, there's no reference to any of the well, characters one in the first the beginning, one. They had that little machine that flies up in the air. Oh, with the, the balls, balls and everything, but they don't ever reference okay. the original so people. So you don't have to see the first one in Not order to understand it's this It's just a one. fun summer movie. It is. Yeah. Forget the plot. You're in there. I mean, come on. They're, the plot. They're they're driving, really, there's a tornado really coming. They're driving in tornadoes. Yeah. So they can drill it. He can, like, he's got a little, uh, he can, like, drill into the ground to keep his truck from. He bolts his truck into yeah. the ground. Mm, cool. I'm and like, yeah, right. Let's look at it. They have this invention where they can basically stop the twister in the middle of it by unleashing these things into the funnel cloud. That's what they want to try for science. But uh, if you do 4DX, you're going to have the time of your life. Yeah, it's a blast. Because it is so dumb. Just it watch the people. Fun. I mean, is the it... dialogue is, the script is so bad, it is beyond bad. Is it... So how Who's much... the main girl? Karen? She's a, like. 
She's not like not famous, really. Famous. No, okay, big that's name. what I was gonna say. It doesn't seem like there's any big names cheap. really, except for they spend all their money on effects. And it how is. much is a seat okay. then? I think it's like thirty Tw- bucks. One twenty three. It's ninety five dollars for four people. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, which sucks, but I don't go very much. Yeah. <sighs> Do you guys know Paul Shear? No. He's like the yeah. bald guy. Yeah, he was in this. He's in it, but his mom was pregnant with him in the first one, so he's the only actor in both Twisters. Oh, I no way. That Is that why he did Because he's only in at the end. He's like a cop. Okay, got he did, you. He was, oh. he was in the league. He was in lot. You've seen the guy. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He played why Andre. Is, why is he playing a, a meter maid? Yeah. I think he really wanted to be he in it because his cop. mom was pregnant with him as an extra in the first one. And so that's like a big I did not know that. I was oh, wondering why that guy from the league. You'd yeah. know him if you saw yeah, him. Yeah, you're like, why is this guy doing this? Yeah. He just has one little line. Now, Kevin, you were at Missy Elliott. What happened? So, uh... We got some tickets from Missy, and they were in the 400s, which is the very top of the Toyota Center. <laughs> and so what we'd like to do a lot of times is see if they're doing reseating because there's, you know, they want to bring people down the floor. It didn't they fill upgrade. up as yeah. much as they thought. Well, any concert, they change mm-hmm. things. Things mm-hmm. get changed. I got good. some upgrades for Madonna. No, I yes. Well, I did not get that upgrade for <laughs> Missy Elliott. So Booster and I are looking for our seats, and it's there was a sign that said Section 417 – Stairs, and it had to point to the stairs. So I'm like, that's weird. Like, well, so we go into the stairwell, and y'all, it's just it's a stairwell to nowhere. And we keep going, and we're going further <laughs> down and further down and further down. I'm like, you're out of the blue. Yeah, no, babe. Yeah. Like, I don't think this is right. We're like, we got to go back up again, and then we see a door, random door, and then we go through it. We'll come to find out. Now we're on the suite. Oh, well, you went that level. one level. Now we're on the 300s level. Mm-mm. So we go around the corner. I'm like, oh my god, half of these suites are like almost empty and. I was like, this one This one says Aramco. That's cool. Let's go into this one. Oh, no. So we go in there. <laughs> you and crash somebody's yes, suite? Yes, we already had our own booze with us. Um, and we just, it's dark. It is dark in there. And you can't really see anything. And everyone's sitting there watching the show, not looking at us. We sit down in the in the high chairs. Uh, oh, by behind, the bar. Yeah, by, by All the bar chairs there. are like a high chair for you. <laughs> yep. Oh, and we nice. watch nice. several, uh, I guess, Sierra's songs. And, and it's seems cool. Well, then, here comes Lil' Karen. Excuse me, you're not supposed to be in here. Can I see your tickets? Uh-oh. And I was like, oh, I can't find my <laughs> can't find my tickets. Oh my God. Who, do you, who do you know? I was like, Steve. <laughs> uh, Steve is my dad. Stop. <laughs> yes, Steve. Steve. Yeah. You said Steve is your dad yeah. or she said no, Steve I is? No, I said, I said Steve is my dad. I was Steve. like, Steve is my dad. He gave us the tickets. She's like, I don't know a Steve and you need to leave. I was like, yeah, that's fine. I'm here for the Amco uh, suite. She's like, this is a Ramco, ah! not Amco. Oh, no. Oops. Oh, I was like, oh, well, where's the Amco? She's like, I don't know, but it's not here. So uh, a Ramco lady, uh, I didn't tell her that I was Special K, and she was graced with my presence there <laughs> in her suite. Oh, my God. I didn't break it to her. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Yeah. Right. I yeah, didn't get the hell out. That. We got to talk more about that uh, in the next scoop because I want to find out how the show was. Uh, yeah. Good. yeah, we can so talk about that at 740. On. We have uh, some audio I want to play. This lady I saw yesterday on TikTok might be one of the dumbest people I've ever heard. You're just going to smack TikTok. your hand on your forehead. We all have those things where you just uh, realize something, but this lady kept talking about this item. I had a mod edited down because I was so mad so at her. And it was so annoying because she said the same thing over and over Yeah, again. I'm like, just say it already. What, what's wrong with you? But wait till <laughs> you hear this. Basically, the segment is, what did you just realize? Because there are things that we all just realized mm-hmm. later, later in life mm-hmm. that you didn't know was around for the last 20, 30 years. But we'll play this audio, and then we'll discuss amongst ourselves things that you guys just realized. Like Recent Baskin Robbins. discoveries like Baskin Robbins. I didn't people realize should know. 31 is in the logo. When you look at Baskin Robbins on mm-hmm. the B and the R, there's a three and a one in that. I didn't notice that until yesterday when I was driving with my daughter. I'll go, oh, damn. That's a 31. 31 flavors. All right. We'll talk about it next on the Rule and Ryan Show. He is back to the Rule and Ryan Show. I'd say we've all had one of those moments where it's something that most people realize, but I just now figured it out. And you're like, Ugh. And we do that once in a while. What did you just realize? Maybe you could text us. Is there something in the last month that you just realized? The most famous one, I think, uh, was a few years ago was the... Uh, you can tell where the gas is on your car, where to fill up. Oh, yes. Uh, that was super helpful. That little arrow. When and it'll tell at, you on the left side mm-hmm. or the right side. Yeah. Yes. And I never knew that until someone told us. It's like, really helpful yes. if you're in a rental car yeah. and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I got to gas up. That's what's great about Costco. It doesn't matter what side you're on. But that hose is long enough. You can go there or you can go over your car to the other side. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have a Costco card. It's worth it. Save some money. And, and you know it's safe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eric does not save money. I think yeah. he would well, save if I go money there, if, I just go there. if you didn't have a Costco card. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you go in and make all those impulse buys. <laughs> the amount of money you spend. At gambling, Costco. Right? He loves Costco. They give yeah. you free drinks, right, uh, when you gamble. You brag about that. But I lost $100, but I got two free uh, vodka tonics. The water Ooh. down. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good deal. But this lady, I saw this Saturday, and she was driving me nuts on TikTok. <laughs> Talking about a lemon tree that she has in her in her backyard, mm-hmm. and I told Ahmad to edit it down because she's just so annoying. Oh the my way God. She, she says the same thing like was it three times or four? Yeah, at times? least three or four times. But I mm-hmm. think you chopped it down. But listen to this lady. I want to know if anyone thinks like this. Is there anyone that's I don't want to say dumb, but uninformed? Uninformed. Listen to this. I can't be the only person on the planet that didn't know that you can just pick a piece of fruit off of a tree and eat it. I had a friend come over a few weeks ago and she was like, Carly, why do you have a bag of lemons in your fridge from the store? And I said, oh, well, sometimes I cook with them and I also put them in. And she said, no, you have a lemon tree outside. And I said, okay. And she said, Carly, you just pick the lemons off the tree and you put them in your food or, or in your sparkling water. And I said, well, don't you have to do something to them? And she said, what do you mean? And I said, you don't have to do anything to the lemons. And she was pretty upset. But maybe I am one of the very few people that didn't know that there is nothing that you have to do to a lemon before you eat it from a tree. You can just take it off the tree. I- am I the only person? I'm 28, for reference. Mm. Am I the only person? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That one. I'm sure there's someone That's else. That's crazy. There like, has to be somebody else that maybe did not know. Oh, How do you not know that? But- that fruit comes off a tree? Eight three 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 nine zero five seven two three. You can call for that. But there's nobody that was. How do you gonna not, admit that? You can pick <laughs> fruit off a tree. Need who would not know that? What do you think I they do? Know. Do they go to? I mean, it'd be nice to wash it, but yeah, wash it. That's the only thing but I was. I did. I used to have a lemon yeah, tree a lemon, in my backyard. You don't have to wash. If yeah, you throw it in your water, you're not, you're not, you're not eating yeah. the rind. I mean, you right. but if you throw it in your water, you don't want. You know, bug, outside bug, all yeah, but yeah. bug poop and pesticides. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you want to scrub it before I you guess. know if you're cutting a lime slice and putting it on the and edge of a protein. drink. That's protein. But this lemon. Is, no, if you heard, no, the, that's not it. If you heard the original audio, because that lady said that three times, over and over, the over part, and over. The part about, um, you know, Cindy, mm-hmm. why why did you do this? And she keeps saying it three times. I'm like, oh, you're annoying Relax. and dumb. Yeah, are you willing to admit anything that you just discovered? I have one. All right. <laughs> I didn't know all cows were girls. Duh. Oh. I didn't know male that. Male cow is a bull. Yeah, a male cow is a bull. I figured that one out. Uh, somebody said it, I think, when they called us up and He's they were talking about something. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just thought all cows, well, I thought cows were both genders. <laughs> Oops. I don't think so. I don't know about that. Oh, like a duck. Is a duck. What's a, a male duck's name? A There's duck a, a duck. A mallard. Okay. Is that the main one? Is a guy that, is, is a duck a and a girl is so a duck. So I feel like you could argue like the cow. I guess you could, is but cows sense, are like, so like everywhere. Like we see cows. Yeah, more I more see than more dogs. cows than bulls. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you're eating a hamburger, you're eating a female. Wait, so we don't eat bull it's, meat? It's a female cow. Okay. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You're not eating a bull. You don't eat bull meat. Shout out Wait, to what? women's rights. Why don't Why you would... eat bull meat? No, nobody cooks bull burgers. How do you? Well, they make oh, no. the Rocky Mountain oysters. But are they oysters. just saying? Okay, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not even a, I'm not even that anyway. <laughs> oh, by the way, Wait, speaking of that what? Rocky Mountain oysters, so they are having a festival in Fredericksburg, and that's going to be August 31st. And they're trying to have this huge thing where it's they're going to have like a eating contest. Tickets are available through Eventbrite, but if you want to sample. Those Rocky Mountain oysters? No, they're they're doing That's a hard pass. I would no just have curious. legit oysters from the sea. I did. Uh, someone text if you look on your laptop or your computer. Yeah. And, and uh, feel where's it? Feel F and J. They have like little dots on it. You guys yes. feel that? Yes, yes, definitely. Or a line. There's something there that's to keep you centered. So like when you're typing. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't have to look down. Yeah, but I never felt that. I just type. I guess that makes sense to feel that. That's where your pointer fingers go. Yeah. I never knew that. I you never didn't, didn't you take computer class? My school, they couldn't afford computers. We had typewriters, even though it was in the 90s. Oh, my gosh. How <laughs> poor my school was. Oh. I took computer a class. Type, a I typewriter. I don't remember nothing from computer class. Not a single yeah, they thing. They didn't teach us anything except for play the what, Oregon Trail game. I mean, it's just, oh, yeah. it, it's, it's always going to be yeah, something that, that becomes easily, quickly dated. Anytime you're learning computer science, whatever Somebody, you're learning... Two years from now, it's going to be completely different. 
Someone said, no, steers are what you eat. Yeah, oh, they're, they are, what they say about this. You the, do eat neutered bulls. You do eat bulls. They and make plus, hamburgers out of this bulls. This coming from a guy who hasn't eaten a yeah, hamburger in yeah, 30 years. Why am I listening I to know, you? I just know that my granddad had a meat market for 50 years. Oh, my I God. Don't, I don't know anything. My dad was a <laughs> farmer. I don't know crap about farming. I even farmed for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just because your uncle went to MIT doesn't mean you're you're also just as smart. Yeah, I'm Kevin, just saying Kevin's I grew up around the butcher shop. Harvard. Harvard. You think he goes, you, bloop. No. Can't do math worth anything. Okay, <laughs> can I just reset this real quick? our parents quick? are successful. We're doing, uh, what did you just realize on the Rule and Rain show? And we get texts. You can text us, 375. Three zero and a texter says, "Wait a minute! I have chickens, and you're telling me the eggs that I get, I can eat them, but I've been waiting for more chickens to hatch." <laughs> so yeah, there's other people said someone else said they didn't realize that you could just take the fruit off the tree and eat it either. They thought That's you had to crazy. do something to it. Well, just wash it. Just what wash it. What do they think you have to do to it? That's what I'm wondering. Yes, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't think they know either. Well, text us back. I want to know what you think. <laughs> Continue. Please. Hey, now time for KRBE's Rule and Riot show to tell you what's going down, 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 down in H Town. You know, it's weird how you can put your phone up for a little bit, and you know, went out for a run yesterday, and I come back, I'm like, huh, anything happened? Oh yeah, President Joe Biden just dro- uh, dropped out of the 2024 race. He's like, I'm out. He ended his bid for re-election after a disastrous debate. Democrats are set to hold their convention in Chicago on August 19th through the 22nd. Now, Biden had won every state primary and caucus earlier this year. He is now endorsing Kamala Harris. Um, Kamala Harris and the current party rules do not permit him to pass his delegates on to another candidate. And she raised like $50 million yesterday and like just that quick in like seven hours. Oh, wow. Or eight mm-hmm. hours. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he has 96 million in his war chest and he has to decide, I guess, or someone has to decide like, where that money's going to go I, to. Right. To He's got a yeah. big party at Dewey Beach. Ah, big party. <laughs> he was in he was in Delaware when he made that decision cuz he has covid right now and uh, you know, everyone's I'm reading the news like everyone's going to Delaware. Everyone's going. Look guys, there's something going on in Delaware. You finally it's happening. Your hometown. It's like, oh yeah. Home. I mean, it was bad news coming out of Delaware, but hey, you know, you got to make That's decisions. That's what I realized until I met you. Mm-hmm. Even then, like four years ago, I, I thought Delaware was like up by Maine and stuff. No, I thought it was like up in the snobby area. Mid-Atlantic. Like it's actually below the Mason-Dixon yeah, line, which a- separated the north and the south, even though Delaware did go with the north during that time. Special guy, I think you're the only person I know from Delaware. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. There's only like five of us. Joe Biden <laughs> is one of them. And so that um, it actually, I'll, I'll be taking Sam to that beach mm-hmm. here in September. Do to you where go by the area where George Washington, Washington crossed the Delaware? That is, is that a little like bit a famous, further up. Is that like a famous... Trail, like, no, take a I've never actually seen that, but it's a pretty big river. It's like, wow, y'all. It was Christmas time, I believe, is when they far did it. Away. Mm-hmm. Pretty far. It's pretty That's neat. pretty cool. All right, coming up next on the Roland Ryan Show. Oh, yeah. It's uh, where we're going to call out moms that <laughs> are just sick of their kids. <laughs> That's <laughs> basically like moms can vent it out right we, we now. We do this once in a while. We've been doing this for like uh, six months. Uh, Jenna Bush, I think Jenna Hager now on yeah. today's show. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm done being a mom. I'm I'm sick of picking up your clothes. And then the next morning, they're just thrown there. I'm sick of, I clean the dishes. I go to bed. I wake up and there's 20 Stanleys in there. There's cups everywhere. I'm sick of it. I'm done. So we want moms to call in and complain. What are they sick of? Especially the summertime. School's going to be starting in a few weeks. Yep. Like three weeks or so. Three, four weeks. Wow. Yep. Right around the corner. Not certain enough for a lot of moms. I'm sure uh. Sam has a few things to vent about being a mom, <laughs> mm-hmm. being on vacation with the family, Me the whole family never. for a week. All right. So let's open up the lines right now. 833-390-KRBE. Maybe you just started listening to the Rule and Ryan show and you haven't been listening for a couple of months. We have a new phone number. It is 833-390-5723. Calling all moms. We want to hear from you next on the Roland Ryan Show.